Hello, uh, in this presentation I just want to show you how you might be able to use the uh, companion websites with the books that we use on elements of economics. The, the books that, um, that we use are, Bl are Blanchard for the macro part of the course and Pindic and Rubinfeld for the micro part of the course. Um, and how do we get there? Well we click on useful links and then we will get the relevant websites up. Uh, so we're on our Duo module site um, and here's the resources for Pindic and Rubinfeld. We just click on this link here and it takes us to the companion website for the microeconomics book. Um, there are chapters relating, well there's sort of chapters here all the way through to 18. There are 18 chapters in the Pindic and Rubenfeld book and we just click on a particular chapter say chapter 2 and what I wanted to show you really rather than go you can have a look at economics and news for yourself but the self-study quizzes uh, so if you want to do some self-assessment of your how you're getting on um, you can just click on one of these self-study quizzes multiple choice is fairly obvious um, and you read through the questions in this particular case I know that the, uh, that the uh, in microeconomics the market supply curve uh, actually illustrates that it is the relationship between a price of the good and the quantity that firms are willing to supply at each price. Uh, and you click through and you do go through all the questions, test your learning, and then you submit your answers for grading. Okay, right at the bottom there are 20 particular questions here. And, uh, well, I was right on my response to my question. Um, I put my, there's, it shows you your answer and additional feedback that you might get. But notice look that if you don't if you don't fill it in, okay, it doesn't give you any feedback. So it's worth actually going through the questions and trying to answer them sensibly and you get a sense of how well you're learning. Um, the other thing about this these self study quizzes, you get short answer type uh, questions. And you might be able to work through these. Uh, so if we have a look at this uh, question. You can uh, read the questions yourself. I'm not going to spend too much time, but you know, there's something about the market mechanism here. Uh, there's a tendency for prices to change until the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. So it's talking about equilibrium, and then it's suggesting how provide an explanation for how the market adjusts to the market equilibrium when the price in the market is not originally set at the market equilibrium price. So you're looking at prices above equilibrium, prices below equilibrium, and you need to explain the processes. And you can verbalise that and state something like that, but it might be better to try and write something down. I'm just going to write any old rubbish down. To but the point is, once you make a response here, then ultimately, when you go down and do all the other questions, or the ones that you're interested in, uh, and submit your answers for grading, you will get an answer. So you can then read that answer to see how well you responded to the, the, the um, indicative answer given here. So that's the um, Pindic and Rubinfeld book, and one can do exactly the same with the Blanchard book. So this is a good way of self-testing for yourself, and uh, when we look at the macro text, uh, and look at the ISLM model in this case, so these are all the same chapters, okay, now we've got the ISLM uh, uh, questions, again there's multiple choice, there's also essays, um, but I wanted to show you active graphs which are really quite useful when we look at um, how, how to uh, well, visualise the, the, the macro economy. And uh, if we look at the derivation of the IS curve for example, so you can work your way down, there's lots of very interesting graphs, uh, a whole range of things which are relevant here, um, including things like the liquidity trap, which are uh, something that you, know, you may well come across in your studies. Uh, so going to the derivation of the IS, just to demonstrate this, there's a demonstration of the IS curve. It'll load Java in, and uh, it'll show you the familiar 45 degree line here with de aggregate demand and uh, aggregate supply. And here's the, uh, the uh, national income uh, line, ZZ. Um, and uh, we're going to derive um, a, uh, an IS curve. And the way that we do it is just by, it gets, you can ask some questions about it. So it's going to, um, he said, optimistically hoping that it would load these questions in. Um, but let's just have a, a 
check oh it's loading into the session let's have a look at that here we are it's got them um, and it's got some questions and it'll give you some answers obviously I'm just going to click on the uh, in the bottom part it'll show you the answers here so just by clicking on the question mark but you should really obviously see what the answer is before you click on that what's quite neat here is that you can drag we know the IS curve is showing the combinations of interest rates and national income uh, at which the goods market is in equilibrium with savings equals investment and injections equals withdrawals and you can drag the interest rate curve and it will move the aggregate demand line in the top diagram uh, but also what's quite neat is that you can plot a point so when you change the um, interest rate and mark it uh, you can see what happens and then obviously you get several points and it'll fill it in for you and derive the IS curve so that's quite a neat way of looking at um, well, ha ha learning with the macro book Blanchard so there we have it then that's the uh, a quick look at how to use both Blanchard and Pindic and Rubinfeld for some self uh, assessment activities good luck with your studies